Hello there, my name is Evan Lyric, who, as you know, and today I'm going to be talking about the seven styles of learning using my guitar. Hey, what about me? What's that? What about With me? Mr. Pufferfish. Mr. Pufferfish will be helping you. No, 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 no. What? I want to be in the intro. I just told him that you're in the thing. You don't have to. No, I want to be in the intro. You don't have to be in the intro. We can just. No, I just told him. Redo right it all. You want me to redo the entire intro? Yeah, everything would be great. The whole thing? Yeah, all of it. Please. You said I had to do this. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll redo the intro. All right. Thanks, buddy. Feel better? Yeah, actually, yeah, I do. Great. Super duper. Let's start off with our first of seven, the visual spatial learning. Visual spatial learners are people who see things and take up knowledge that way. Doodles, maps, charts. One of the reasons why I wasn't so proficient in Spanish but was better in American Sign Language is because I'm a visual learner. I was seeing them do it with their hands and I adapted that information. If I wanted you to pick that up on the guitar, if you were a spatial visual learner, I would probably say, just watch me play. Demonstrations. Me llamo Mr. Pufferfish. I didn't know that you knew Spanish. That's amazing. Do you yeah. know in the ASL? American Sign Language? Yeah, American Sign Language. I am a fish, dum-dum. I got flippers. I don't have hands. Didn't think it through. The next learning style is visual linguistics. And these types of learners, they need something written on paper. They need sounds of words. They need scripts. They need rhymes. If I was to make that pertain to the guitar, I would probably give you sheet music. Or I would write down cues like use the tips of your fingers instead of the balls of your fingers. And you can learn by reading. Like I'm reading Evan's diary right now. It says, Dear Diary. How'd you get my diary? I don't have a diary. It's a journal. No, it says, Dear Diary right here. No, that's not, no. It's a, it's a, it's a journal. No. It's a journal. Dear Diary, I cannot stop watching Grey's Anatomy. I Puff, love, stop. I love the main character. Puff, stop, that's. I can relate to her. I didn't write. I wish I had, what? I didn't write any of that down. It's a touchy. The next learning style is the oral or musical style, and that works hand in hand with the guitar. Duh. The oral part has to do with speaking with one another or taking oral instructions. A lot of people take directions best orally from an instructor, teacher, director, boss, whoever it may be. Fish. Pertaining it to the guitar, I would tell you to match the tone while playing yours. Wee. And you would find those notes on Wee. your guitar. Bleh. Stop, dude. That's annoying. Bleh. Dude, stop. That's annoying, man. Bleh, 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 bleh. It's in there somewhere. That's not even a note. That's not bleh. a note. We're not going to find it in there. Bleh, 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 bleh. I'm close, and you know it. Isn't that an Olivia Newton John song? How the hell did you get a hold of my laptop? Let's get physical. Physical. Yeah, we know the song. We know the song. The next type of learning is the physical kinesthetic type. And those are the doers. These are the people that like to go in and get their hands dirty. They want to touch their craft. They want to be in the field. They want hands-on learning. If I was to have you learn this guitar and I was teaching you, I would probably give it to you and let you play around and dink around on it and get the well, idea give it to of it me. on I'm a own. kinesthetic learner. Me, I'm ready to yeah. go. Do it, hand it over, then let's do it. Yeah, you could, yeah, here. You want to play? Sweet. Yes, I go do. Go right ahead. And Here we go. Play whatever you like, Pop. All right. Go right ahead. That is enough. How did you learn to play the guitar so fast? I'm a kinesthetic learner, I told you. I thought you said you didn't have hands. Moving on, we have the logical mathematical type learners, and these are people who like numbers, logic, classifying groups of information, or data. Uh, if I was to use this type of learning with the guitar, it would be a lot of counting. I could use something called tabs, which is a way of reading the music. I would tell you something like, play 3-2, which would be counting three strings, three, and then moving two frets over. Okay. And there's the second fret. Okay, that makes Pretty sense. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah. Puff stop. Puff Rhymes. stop. Okay. You just go one, one two, two, three, three, and then up to the stop. second. 
to the second fret, and then you move to the second one. Puff, I stop. Help. Stop. I want to help Evan. Help me help. It's not. You're out. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. Simple. And lastly, we have the interpersonal, intrapersonal types of learners. And basically, this works on the dynamics of someone who is solitary or social. Whether you like private, introspective kind of learning, or you like social gatherings. If this was pertaining to learning the guitar, socially, you'd probably go to a class. You'd have an instructor or a teacher. And if you wanted to learn it on your own, you might get instructional videos, or you might just look it up on YouTube. Dear diary, I wish I was the prettiest in class. Do, stop. Sadly, I'm not. It doesn't say. It doesn't say that. <laughs> it says it right How did you get that again? Why can't you just leave I me found alone? It. Have a good time? Whoa. Whoa. Oh gosh. Oh god. Are you okay? <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Everything's fine. Oh. Yeah, but don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. Stupid project. It's okay. He's stupid. <laughs>